this. Mm -hmm. So the starting point is understanding the truth of where you're at. Right. But that's not where that's not the who statement. You are. It's not where the statement ends. And that's not who you are. And it's not where your life ends. Yeah. Right. So so those things, those things you did, those things that happen, those don't define who you are. Those are just yeah. things that happen. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a short episode. And we found that the short ones are like super impactful because people can listen to them like on their ride somewhere and they can actually get through it. Right, nice right. Because most people, when they don't get through it, they never go back to it. Yep. That was supposed to rhyme. That did rhyme. <laughs> You're a poet and don't know it. <laughs> but this one, we had done an episode a while back called Man in the Mirror, but we wanted to readdress that issue, um, particularly because we're having everybody in our organization, both here in our headquarters and all of our agents across the country, uh, are currently reading uh, David Goggins' book, yeah. uh, Can't Hurt Me. And he talks about this idea of the mirror accountability. And I was on a conversation today, uh, a coaching call with one of our agents, and he had asked me just what my thoughts were on, on that topic. And I told him, I said, you know, it's interesting, you know, people lie to other people, mm -hmm. but we lie to ourselves so often. And I just know that it's harder to lie to yourself when you're looking yourself directly in the eye. Right. And he was like, man, um, let's just stop right there because I really need to process that. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. And so I figured it'd be a good topic for us to discuss today because he's kind of a big, you know, alpha male guy, mm -hmm. Bill. Um, and if it hit him that way, then I know there's somebody watching or listening today that it'll hit uh, the same way. So what are your thoughts on that, on looking yourself in the mirror and really speaking the truth? You know, um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, I actually just got off a phone call and we were talking about the questions that we ask ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe starting there and questioning what you believe about yourself, mm -hmm. what you believe your, your talent, skills, everything, questioning those things as you're looking yourself in the mirror, yeah. that's probably a good place to start. Yeah. Um, and then and then telling yourself the truth, mm -hmm. your failures, your successes, but you don't anchor in either one of those, Correct. right? When you're, when, you're, when you're doing this and you're getting real honest with yourself, throwing an anchor in past failures or past successes will hinder your future, both of them. Yep. And, and so, um, you know, I was just having that conversation. It's funny that, yeah. we, that you brought that topic up. So it's like a starting point. Mm -hmm. the, so the starting point is understanding the truth of where you're at. Right. But that's not where that's not the who statement. You are. It's not where the statement ends. And that's not who you are. And it's not where your life ends. Yeah. Right. So so those things, those things you did, those things that happen, those don't define who you are. Those are just yeah. things that happen. Yeah. And so the important in that, the importance in that is that statements of I am are the most powerful statements that you could possibly right. state about yourself. True. I am this, I am that. And so as you, as you get to this truth and ask yourself these difficult questions about the things that have happened, it's not stating those as I am statements because I've been overweight my whole life. Well, I am not fat. Like you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put an anchor in that. Right. You would want to put a new anchor in what you are working towards, which is I am fit. Right. Because if you focus on I am fat versus I am fit, then you'll be fat the rest of your entire life. Exactly. And and you've anchored in that, and that's why you're standing yeah. in front of the mirror, buck naked, and yeah. you jump up and down, and everything jiggles. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yeah. kind of a, it's a good process. If you want to talk about health that way, you jump, jump up and down in front of the mirror, buck naked, and everything jiggles, and you go, yep, fat. Yep. Yep, fat. Well, you've anchored in I am fat for so long that you forgot you weren't made to be fat. You weren't made to be unhealthy. And so changing that to an actual anchored truth of I am fit. Not I am not this. 
because the subconscious doesn't understand negatives. It only hears fat if you say, I'm not fat. Um, then it'll just anchor in fat, always. Yeah. And so you, you have to change the anchor. You have to throw your ship's anchor down in the correct place. Mm -hmm. And that is, I am fit. Now you may be listening to this and go, well, I have this disease, I have this problem, I have high, high blood pressure, um, I'm type two diabetic, and I have this. And you're jumping up and down in front of that mirror going, this is not, this is not good. Um, so you want to pull the ship's anchor up out of the I am fat and I am unhealthy and, and throw the new anchor down in I am fit. And, and I will add this. So I did a podcast last week with a guy named Ben Newman, and he told this story about his mom who died 11 days before his eighth birthday. And she created this journal. It was just a spiral bound notebook that she wrote in over the course of having this debilitating disease that attacked her muscles and ultimately attacked her heart and, and killed her. And the interesting thing was she wrote in this notebook that she was not defined by this disease that would ultimately kill That's her. Right. And so you, you may hear what we just said and saying that that does not define you, but it may feel as though you don't understand. I have this disease. I have this issue. I have this thing. And it does define me. And the interesting thing about that is, no, she didn't beat that disease because she wrote it out that way. But the things that she wrote in that notebook that said, literally, I am not this disease. I will not live with this disease. I will beat this disease. I will become you know, something bigger than this disease. I will live my life in this way, in this way, in this way, in this way. It didn't help her beat the disease, but it is literally the foundation of which her son, who was eight at the time, has lived his entire life now. <laughs> He bases his entire life on these pillars that he learned by the example that his mom was during such a difficult time and the, her willingness and forethought to, to put that stuff in writing. Uh, again, speaking those things that we're talking about, but knowing how difficult it was mm -hmm. and knowing that she can say that she's going to live through this all she wants, but it probably wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. But by still being that strong, he was talking about her having like a heart catheterization and the very next day going to a St. Louis Cardinals uh, playoff <laughs> game with him. And so like living her life that way, even when things were so grim, mm -hmm. um, was now the foundation of strength that he pulls from every single day to become yeah. the man that he's become. And so I That's think, incredible. you know, the best way for us to close this out, you know, we talk so much about authenticity, about transparency, about vulnerability, and that's great with other people. Right. But how vulnerable and transparent are you being with yourself? Right. And the best way to force that vulnerability and force that transparency out of you is by looking yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Because you can only lie to yourself for so long when you're looking yourself dead in the eyes. And so uh, we would encourage everybody to go through this process. Start looking yourself in the eyes in the mirror and start saying those statements of I am and just see what happens. I love it. All right. So this is episode 110 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we'll see you next time. Ow! Ow!